let us solve some questions based on nth roots and indices. Get ready to face the first question. What could be the answer? Well, we can write this as 64 is 8 square. So we can write it as 8 square raised to minus 1 by 2 minus minus 32. Now minus 32 can be written as minus 4 times 8, 8 fours are 32 and again 8 can be written as 4 times 2 and these 4's can be written as 2 times 2 and this 4 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2. So basically minus 32 is the fifth power of 2. So I can write minus 32 as minus 2 raised to power 5. Now we have this raised to 4 by 5. Now this has become simple. So I can write this as 8 raised to 2 times minus 1 by 2, the law of indices, minus of minus 2 raised to 5 times minus 4 by 5. 5 and 5 get cancelled, 2 and 2 get cancelled. So this is equal to 8 raised to power minus 1 minus of minus 2 raised to power minus 4. So this is equals to 8 raised to power minus 1 is 1 by 8 minus of minus 2 raised to power minus 4 is 1 upon minus 2 raised to power 4. So this is equal to 1 by 8 minus 1 by 2 raised to power 4 is let us calculate it 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This is 4 times 4 and which is 16. So 1 by 8 minus 1 by 16. Now what remains is let us take the LCM of denominator which is 16. So 8 times 2 is 16. So 2 minus 16 times 1 is 16. So 2 minus 1. So 1 by 16 is the right answer. Moving ahead with question number 2. What could be the answer? Okay. So we have a situation like this here a raised to m times b raised to m times c raised to m. The power is same. So we can write this as a b c that means a times b times c raised to power m. This is a law of indices. So I can write this as 18 in instead of multiplication we have division. So division 27 times 6 raised to 3.5. So this is equal to 18 by 27 times 6. We can write it like this. So 3 6 is 18 and 3 9 is 27. And 3 2 is 6, 3 3 is 9. So 3 1 is 3, 3 2 is 6. So this is 4 raised to 3.5. This was also raised to 3.5. So 4 raised to 3.5 is equal to 2 raised to let's say x. So 4 can be written as 2 square raised to 3.5 is equal to 2 raised to x. So 2 raised to 3.5 times 2 is equal to 2 raised to x. So 3.5 times 2 is 7. So 2 raised to 7 is 2 raised to x. Therefore x is equal to 7. So here 7 should come. This one's also a bit similar to the previous question. Let us solve this. So I can write this as 25 is 5 square to the power 7.5 multiplied by 5 to the power 2.5 divided by 125 is 5 cube to the power 1.5 is equals to 5 to the power let's say x. So this is 5 to the power 2 times 7.5 which is 15. So 5 to the power 15 times 5 to the power 2.5 divided by 1.5 times 3. So 5 to the power 4.5 which is equal to 5 raised to power x. Now this is a raised to power m times a raised to power n which is a raised to power m plus n. So this is 5 raised to power 15 plus 2.5 which is 17.5 upon 5 raised to 4.5 and that is equivalent to 
a law of n dice here a raised to m divided by a raised to n which is a raised to m minus n so 5 raised to 17.5 minus 4.5 is equals to 5 raised to power x so 5 raised to power 13 is equals to 5 raised to power x so x's value is 13 now let us move on to this final question what could be the answer okay so we have a raised to m times a raised to n which is a raised to m plus n so this can be written as this is equal to 243 raised to 0 0.13 plus 0 0.07 divided by this is 7 raised to 0 0.25 times 7 times 7 is 49 so 7 square raised to 0 0.075 times 343 is 7 cube so 7 cube raised to 0 0.2 so this is equivalent to 243 raised to 0 0.13 plus 0 0.07 is 0 0.20 divided by we have 7 raised to 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.075 times 2 is 0 0.15 so 7 raised to 0 0.15 times 3 to the 6 so 7 raised to 0 0.6 and this is equal to 243 raised to 0 0.20 upon 7 raised to 0 0.25 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.6 and 0 0.25 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.6 is equivalent to 1 so we have 7 raised to 1 in the denominator now if you calculate the fifth power of 3 you will get 243 to calculate that I mean to find out what power of some number is 243 you can do it by writing this as a product of prime factors and you'll know that this is a fifth power of 3 so this is equal to 3 raised to 5 raised to 0 0.20 divided by 7 raised to power 1 and that is equals to 3 raised to 5 times 0 0.2 and 5 times 0 0.2 is 1 so 3 raised to 1 upon 7 raised to 1 and that is 3 by 7 and that's our answer, option A.